excited to come to you with updates of my pregnancy. I have had a tremendously long 21, 22 weeks. And I'm excited to share with you my symptoms, my baby bump, my previous medical conditions, and my career. Uh, first of all, i like to start off with saying welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, 22, going on 22 weeks, pregnant and feeling the baby kick and excited. Um, it's been a long journey. I would have recorded a video before now, but I've had some issues and unfortunately um, did not think we were going to make it this far. Um, the first issue was spotting. The first, uh, it started at eight weeks and, uh, I was on bed and pelvic rest until about 16 weeks pregnant. Um, by the grace of God, I'm still pregnant, very excited. Um, so if I don't see you or you don't pick up the phone, it's because I'm going through so much. Um, thriving business owner, multiple sclerosis survivor, fibromyalgia survivor, um, my facial syndrome, anti-blood coagulant, which was the reason why I was told that I was not going to be able to have kids anymore. And as you can see in the background, I've had wall bars because um, installed into my home because I lost mobility in my legs. And um, as a business owner, um, as a hairstylist, braider, natural care specialist, you can't really function without your feet. So it took me um, getting into God and my spirituality and understanding the purpose for my life. Um, by the grace of God, I have my, my mobility back. Um, and that happens with multiple sclerosis. I never know when, never know the day. It might be today, it might be tomorrow, that I can lose my sight, my vision, um, may not be able to walk, um, my slurred speech, may not understand what I'm saying, but I don't want to glorify that. That's not why I'm here, and that's not why I want to talk to you. And maybe some more people out here and um, Facebook and YouTube land that have encountered multiple sclerosis or someone with multiple sclerosis. And you can look at me like, oh, she doesn't have anything wrong with her. But in actuality, I do. Um, you can't see it. It's not something you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and you can tell you have multiple sclerosis or you're walking down the street next to somebody and you can tell they have multiple sclerosis. It wasn't genetic. It didn't run in my family. Um, it wasn't passed down from my mom. But I have it. So I live with it. And um, I've learned to suppress my symptoms. And I take a couple of supplements because I realized and found out through my education and training and my career as a health coach that I was deficient in a lot of areas in my life. My first deficiency was vitamin D. I needed to build vitamin D because I did not go out in the sun a lot. Um, I actually hate to sweat. So one of my big things was stay away from the sun, um, go indoors pooling and swimming and things like that. So I needed to replenish my body with vitamin D. Lactose intolerance, so I didn't get it from cow's milk either so um i started taking vitamin d and i started taking omega-3 omega-3 is great because it helps with um the essential uh omegas and the, the oil from the fish oil that we need in the dha and the epa that we are um lacking in a lot of our food and food products so i was able to get that and my body started changing drastically. Like I said, I was told that I wasn't able to have kids um, because of the anticoagulant blood. 
here I am. I am 21 weeks pregnant, 22 weeks pregnant. And everything the doctors told me, I am a walking testimony, literally walking testimony of what God can do in our lives. <sighs> so if you have multiple sclerosis or you have a testimony about what your conditions or symptoms were in your life and you want to share those with me, I would love to hear those comments. And if you need prayer or you want some natural remedies for getting pregnant or sustaining a pregnancy, if you went through the spotting the first 16 weeks like I did, um, let me know how scary you are. I mean, I was very scared. Um, by the way, like I said, my symptoms just subsided when I got pregnant. So I don't know if any of your symptoms are going to go away. Um, our research has shown that a lot of the symptoms do disappear with pregnancy. Um, but like I said, my symptoms were off and on and um, right now I don't feel the symptoms. They may still be there because there's so many symptoms with multiple sclerosis. I've kind of gotten used to them. A lot of them are um, eternal um, forgetfulness, um, which is already with pregnancy, um, some depression. Um, which I'm, I'm doing, doing it. I am finding ways to keep me busy and love life and appreciate life more. And God is my witness. I want to do more for the kingdom. And that's why I am doing this video. I hope I touch someone's life and I give someone hope. If I can get pregnant and I have multiple sclerosis, and other health conditions, you can too. Baby bump, let's show you. I have gotten pregnant before, so the story is, if you've been pregnant before, you are more likely to show faster. So if I seem a little bit bigger to you, it's because, um, because I've had kids before. There we have it. Side view, front view. All right. So like I said, if you have any questions for me or you want to talk about multiple sclerosis, natural health, uh, holistic health, getting your spirituality intact, prayer, contact me on here. I love your feedback. This is my first time making a video and I'm very excited. Thank you again for joining me tonight and hopefully I will hear from you again. Have a blessed night. Bye. -bye.